Hi everybody, welcome to your weekly dose live stream. I am super excited. Today I have a special guest joining us to talk about a specific meditation practice that I've recently started. I would say it's probably been about a year now and dramatically, radically improved so many areas of my life, but one in particular that over, I guess, I've been having this pain in my knee for over five years and it was this meditation that I really attribute to radically reducing the amount of acute and chronic pain that I had due to some knee injuries. So I invited Sarah Faith to join me in talking about this powerful meditation. Um, I did a course in this meditation at Theta Healing Center in New York, which she's the co-founder of, and she's going to come on and she's going to talk to us about what is Theta Healing and so much more. So let's see, we're going to let people start to join, just letting Sarah get on so that I can bring her in on this live stream, which I'm super psyched about. So while we're waiting and while I'm getting through these technicalities, um, you know, you can invite your friends to join this while we're here now. And if you have somebody in your community that's dealing with chronic pain, um, this or any, anything, any area where they feel stuck and feel like they haven't been able to shift, this is a good time for you to invite your friends to come and take a listen. Vanessa's on, Alicia's on, Aaron's on. Awesome. I'm just waiting for Sarah to join. I haven't seen her join yet. Lucy, can you reach out to her and see if she's okay? So guys, I'm really psyched because as you know, Probably if you're on this page, you know that I really believe in the power of meditation. And I've been practicing for the last, I'd say 15 years and being really consistent in the last five years. And it's made a dramatic, dramatic difference in my life in so many areas. And that's why I created Sati 365 because I really feel like Everybody needs to have some practice that really works on reshaping their mind, strengthening their mind, and becoming a person that really is empowered in ways where you can shift from negative attitudes or fear or worry or doubt into these more positive states that where you can have resilience, where you can stay in the game, you can have stick intuitiveness. Pause right there. She's not, she's on her computer, I think. Sarah, I see you're here, but you have to be on your phone. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that. In order for me to have you join in, you have to be on your phone. So log out and come back on and I'll bring you on. So as you've heard me speak about before, um, meditation practice for me is kind of a bunch of different tools that I've brought together. So my morning practice consists of a lot of different practices synthesized into one, which is what Sati 365 is, right? It's a, it's a kind of a journey of mindfulness and meditation and healing and positivity and uh, ways to get yourself into a peak state, a state where you have more confidence, you have more resilience, you bounce back quickly. And that's what I want to talk about today. And here's She's coming. Hang on. There she is. Hi, Hi. <laughs> How are you? Excellent and so happy to be here. Can everyone hear me okay? I hope yeah. so. Yeah, give a thumbs up. So give a thumbs up too. If you if you're if you're in Sati 365 or in the daily dose, you guys know you've heard of Theta Meditation. Most of my tracks in the first six months of Sati 365 all have 
downloads and um, the Theta Healing meditations. And so since I launched Sati 365, um, people have been saying, what is this? What is this? I've been <laughs> dying to get you on this live stream so that we can answer so many questions and so much interest because it's really unique. It's really different. And that's one of the reasons I really love it. But before we go there, and it works. And it works. <laughs> I have so many positive stories about that. But before we go on to doing that, I just want to do like a formal introduction for you because I didn't do that yet. So I was waiting for you to get on. So Sarah Faith Brunette, is it Brunette? Brunette. It is, it, you know, my husband says Brummet, so yeah. I will honor the way he pronounces it, Brummet. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea if it's his last name. <laughs> yes. He probably knows Brummett. Okay. Uh, she's the co-founder of Theta Healing NYC School in the center of, uh, of New York City, which is where I went to study. I studied with your husband, who is an amazing teacher. Amazing. And I've done sessions with practitioners there at the center, and I can't recommend it enough. And she's been practicing Theta Healing now for over 10 years, working with thousands of people worldwide. This belief-busting, manifesting magnet, soul-discovering, and intuition-expanding technique. And I would say yes to all of that. And I just want to, before you go into um, what Theta Healing is, I want to just give a little bit for Nisa Zahn, and she's a lover of Theta Healing. She goes to the Kabbalah Center. Oh, you probably nice. know who she oh, is. Great. Yeah. Before I go into letting you talk about Theta Healing, I just want to talk about my personal experience and why I went to Theta Healing in the first place. So I've been studying mindfulness techniques. Um, I did transcendental meditation, but I wanted to come up with a, a way to integrate meditation that would be unique, but also extremely, had a more uh, varied um what's the word, varied amount of results that you could get. I wanted something that was going to be the biggest bang for your buck time-wise. And there were people, it was just like one day, Kathy, who's a, a student of yours, a student of Theta Healing Center, who's been a longtime student of mine, was like, you've got to try this. You've got to try this. It's going to be so in alignment with who you are. And then literally the next, the same day, another student forwarded me a link to the Theta Healing Center, and it had the picture of the first woman in it as a participant, and it was just like these the worlds colliding. Yeah, because I was like, I need a meditation practice that I can teach, but that also is something kind of more all-encompassing. So I came across Theta Healing, and since I've been practicing, I just want to share. I used to have literally level like nine consistent knee pain. Level nine, where even standing, even sleeping, it was like constant hot pain. I went to a knee doctor. I've had two knee surgeries already. And I went to a knee doctor and he was like, there's nothing I can do for you. You need two total knee replacements. I don't suggest you run. I don't suggest you basically do anything. And there's really nothing else that I can do for you. There's really nothing else that I can do for you. So I started doing Theta Healing and I started to do the downloads about arthritis and was super consistent. And I got this idea that I needed to just start walking because in one of the Theta Healing sessions, somebody said to me, um, it's locked energy. It's energy that's stagnant. In your knees, you have stagnant energy. So I said, okay, so what do stagnant knees need? They need movement, right? So instead of sitting down because they hurt, move. So I started walking and I started deciding I'm going to walk for an hour a day, power walk. And if it hurts, I'm just going to move through it. And I was using those techniques and I would do the meditation before and I would do the meditation after. And then I was on the treadmill one day and I just got the idea, run. I'm like, run. I haven't run ever in my life. I hate running. And it's so painful. I could never run. But I just thought, okay, I'm going to run. And I started running. I ran for 45 minutes that day. That was over, that was over three, three months ago. I've wow. jogged literally every day, except for a couple of days I've missed like vacation or um, for some other reason. Almost <laughs> nearly every day for three months, 45 minutes to an hour. 
and my pain is on a basis of just like sitting here, zero, zero. From a 10 to a zero. The fact that I'm running is mind blowing to me. It's From a miracle. A, it's a miracle. From chronic, yeah. chronic level 10 pain to zero. Now, I still have limited range of motion. There's still some things I can't do. I still feel soreness after I do a workout. But I'm telling you, change, and I know people say this and they throw it around, but really changed my life. I did not want to have a knee replacement. It was not, it's not on my list of things. I'm not ready for that. I needed to find something that was going to help me deal. And that's just one of the 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 major influences and impacts it's had in my life. And so many of the people in Sati 365 have felt a deep connection to this meditation practice. And the downloads themselves are like radical ways to shift your mind. So I want to give it to you now because I want you to explain to us all these things that people don't even know what I'm talking about probably called downloads and theta healing. <laughs> and so I'm going to hand it to you to give us the background about what this is and why it's so powerful. Well, um, I guess let's start with um, the technique itself. Um, you know, in order to create change, and that's something that you had a concrete experience of, of a specific um, pain that you were having and you needed healing, you needed change. So the body actually uses energy to heal. It needs energy. Um, and when you really look at things on a base level, everything is made of energy. That's like a scientific truth. Um, so how do we use energy in a way that will actually create change? And for you, it's, it's with the healing, and you've also experienced it, I'm sure, um, with belief systems. Um, so the practice of Theta Healing really recognizes that we can change our state of being through this simple meditation. And in that state of being, we're connecting to everything as energy. We're connecting to source. And we're changing our consciousness. We're entering the theta state consciousness. So the theta healing meditation is very specific. It gives you a guided meditative visualization process that actually helps you achieve this state. And usually, um, you know, I love that you mentioned you were looking for something that would save you time. So usually you don't enter this theta state until you're a practice meditator and you meditate for hours and hours on end. So we really look at using this visualization process to get us into that state very quickly because Theta healing is actually made as a manifesting technique. Mm. It's designed to create change in your life, not just awaken. So when you go into this state that if you guys are doing her, your Patricia's challenge, right? You right. guys are experiencing, or if you're doing the 360 program, you're experiencing the meditation. You're actually going into this state of consciousness. So this is also a spiritual experience because you're no longer stuck in your own perspective, your own limiting perspective of what is possible. When you go into the state of state, you're in a sense accessing like what we call like the quantum field, this open, endless, all possibilities. And at that moment of consciousness, we can choose a new reality for us to step into. So we're accessing energy, we're going into this new state of consciousness, and then we're able to use this energy and use our kind of opened mind to step in and create a new reality. So this is how we can um, use this technique to change beliefs, we can do healings, we can expand our intuition. Um, and I would like to, at the end of, of today, guide everyone again through this meditation so yeah. they can experience it again definitely so that's the basis i was actually gonna to end with talking about that but that's like the basis of the technique it's all about your connection so when you do the visualization process 
you're connecting to everything as energy, you're opening your mind to endless possibilities, you're seeing things from a higher truth, so you're no longer seeing things through limitation and your own paradigm, and then you're able to use that energy to make change in your life. Yeah, it's so powerful. And the, I just, it was, it was a technique that really after one session, I could feel that, that level of depth that I'd never really experienced before. And yeah. that was, you know, everybody wants change fast, right? We all, we, we want faster. How do I get there faster? I don't have time for all of this, like hour of meditating a day and all of this stuff. <laughs> So, and it, and that's real, right? That's a lot of anxiety for some of us is time. And that was like what sold me on it as well. It was like that immediate feeling of I can get into this deep state very quickly. Yeah. Um, and that's something that you experience when you take the class, right? So, um, you know, there's different process. When I, when I started this process, I came in, um, I was newly out of high school and I was really in, um, a, I would say I felt really lost. I was lost. I was in a depression. Um, I honestly had gone through a relationship that in many ways I felt kind of spiritually destroyed me. Like I was just like dark, bad place. Um, and I heard of Theta Healing and I had a session, which is a similar experience that you had. And I've been to therapists, I've been to other healers, and I know that they served me, but I needed something that would, like, seriously change what was going on. Because no matter what, I still had this heaviness and this darkness within me This just, it felt like a, a blanket. Um, and I came to that session, and I remember very clearly we worked on... Um, being spiritually alone, being disconnected from all that is. And after that session, I felt like my depression was just like lifted off of me. And I knew that there was something, I didn't understand what it was. I didn't understand how the technique worked, but I knew there was something so powerful um, in the technique itself. And I had a follow-up session. And this time I wanted to work on relationships because that's really what was, you know, causing this deep pain or part of it. And I, we, we did a session and we got to this place and um, the technique really works on beliefs. I want to talk more about that in a bit. We changed the belief and two weeks later, I experienced my first real love experience where this person like completely loved me back, which is nothing I'd ever experienced before. I always said like they didn't want to commit or they weren't interested in me. And I was like, wow. So in these two experiences, I found that when you work with the Theta Healing Technique, you can change your inner experience and then you can change your outer experience of what you're actually calling into your life, what, um, what you're manifesting. So that's really where my journey began. And then I started taking classes. And, you know, before this, my father, um, he was diagnosed with stage four melanoma cancer and the doctors gave him uh -huh. six months to live. So that was like, right at the beginning of, of high school. So I had all this sadness. He's still alive today, by the way. So he's wow. doing good. 86. Wow. 87 in August. Wow. Um, but I had all this depression. I started to gain a lot of weight. I had breakouts. I had all this digestive issues. And as I began to use the Theta Healing Technique, my digestive issues cleared up. My skin cleared up. I was able to figure out that why I was holding to that weight was I had so much fear. Mm -hmm. I had fear of being and fear of being attractive. And I started to release weight and it started to change everything in my life. Anything that kind of presented um, pain, struggle, I was able to use this technique and change it, release it. So that was like the beginning of my journey with Theta Healing. Yeah, I, I mean, so many people that I've talked to have had so many results, like powerful, powerful results. And the other thing that makes it really unique, and you talked a little bit, you started to talk about the how it changes your beliefs. Yeah. And this, 
is another really, really valuable aspect of Theta Healing is the downloads. Because I think it's so, one, it's so different, but the idea of it just, the, well, explain what it is, but I'll just say, um, this was something that I felt like, again, a useful tool, a thing that I could really think about that, that I didn't understand was accessible to me any other way. So will you talk about downloads and what that, what they are, how Absolutely. they work? Well, first I want to address, like, we have mindset, right? We know that we need a good mindset in order to achieve our goals. You know, you have to believe to achieve. So, but our mindset is really what we think consciously. So it's like you say your affirmations and you consciously think positive thoughts um, because you know that that's like a huge part of the game to success and to, to changing how you feel about yourself and self-love. And that's really important. But there's a whole other um, side to it that people don't always have access to. And that's really understanding the subconscious mind that we actually have belief systems. And these belief systems are passed down to us from our ancestors. We carry the belief systems of our ancestors. So everything that they have gone through, they're passing to us. And by the way, this is not just bad stuff. Like I honestly believe, and we believe in Theta Healing, that you choose your parents for the qualities yeah. that they possess, you know, for good and for bad. That, you know, in order for you to achieve your higher purpose, your soul's purpose, you need certain gifts. And your ancestors, lucky for us, have developed certain strengths that were being passed down from them. But we're also passed down some things that it would be really nice to tweak, you know, like having to struggle and having to work hard and having to be alone or whatever it is. So there's always this internal story going on. Um... And then, of course, our life experiences, our childhood. So we're learning, constantly learning these beliefs. It's kind of interesting to note that when you're a child between zero and six years old, you're mostly in a theta state. So we know that children, they are like sponges. They're absorbing the world around us. So this is really when we're developing our belief systems of who am I? How do people see me? What am I worthy of? Um, and then how do I see who my mother is and what a woman is worth or what a man is worth or how these people um, will succeed in the world? So we're constantly learning this internal wiring, right? So those are really important um, places to start that the Theta Healing Technique allows you to test for your subconscious beliefs, test for that wiring, and then through a, a process that you can learn, you can actually dig for where it started and clear it. So that's the belief work side. Then there's downloads. Downloads are go hand in hand with belief work. I feel like they don't replace it, but they are like a tool in your tool belt you have to have. So the way I explain a download is that, as we said, everything is energy. So the way that we are able to manifest the life we want, we have to be able to send a signal to the universe and the universe picks up the telephone, gets on the telephone with us and says, got your signal, heard the message, that's what you want? Are you sure? Okay, I'm gonna send it to you. So you need to know what that signal is in order to request it from the universe. But let's say we've never experienced something before. For example, let's say we've never experienced love before. So I don't know what that signal is. I don't know what that energy is. I don't know what that everything is vibration. I don't know what that specific signature of love is to send out to the universe to receive it. So this is where a download comes in. A download is giving you the experience of what love is. And what that does, it's almost like opening a receptor cell in your body. So a receptor is not just receiving something. You have to be able to call. Just like you think in the body, we have receptors that um, you know, work to call in certain nutrients. Well, they have to tell the body that they need that nutrient. They send a signal to the body. And the body hears it and then sends the nutrients to it. 
It's the same way with our experiences. So we're actually creating a receptor to receive, but also a receptor that sends out to the universe and to the people around us, I'm worthy of love, I'm worthy of being supported. I know what love feels like, you know? And you'll start to then call in these experiences into your life. So they're really at those moments where it's like, maybe someone, you know, grew up always attempting and failing and they just don't know what success feels like. So they don't know how to create it in their life. This is where you guys would receive a download. And the way a download works is the practitioner, Patricia, me, will ask you, would you like to know what success feels like? And if you say yes, what we can then do is, because we've, we've taken the class, we go into the theta state, and we witness that energy going into every cell of your body so that you now know what it feels like and create that in your life. It's the feeling. That's the primary download is the feeling of what it, of, of how, if you know what it feels like, you know how to create it. You know, it's kind of like when we visualize, it's not just seeing it, but it's like feeling it. We make it real when we feel it. So you start to call those experiences into your life. So that's what a download is. Yeah, I mean, I just, I love the whole, the whole process. So let me just see what time it is. So we see what we can, what we have time for. I really want you to take us through a meditation, but I just want you to just tap on, um, ah, my playing. Um, tap, just tell us a little bit about um, the founder of Theta Healing and maybe why she created it in the first place, Viana. Yes. So, Viana, who, um, she's still alive today, she's the founder of this technique. She went through her own healing journey, um, and she, she was always intuitive, um, and she started to use her intuitive gifts, um, but she got really sick. Um, and she would do readings on people, and, you know, there's only so much you can do, like, 12 hours of readings a day before you start, like, looking at their body and, like, starting to see, like, oh, they have this microbe and this bone's out of place. And she got really good at reading the body. Um, and she started to get sick, and she did readings on herself, and she kept seeing what was going on. She actually had a 9-inch tumor in her leg. Um, and she started doing cleanses, and she didn't have insurance. So when they told her, you know, you're knocking on death's door, the only thing we have for you is chemo, she would have done it in a heartbeat. But she didn't have insurance, and chemo is like $10,000 a week. Um, so she wasn't given that opportunity. And she really started to work on herself, and she kept asking, how can I heal myself? How can I heal myself? And she would always hear, you know the answer. Um, so... One day, she was she would throw these potlucks to kind of bring the community together, and things were not looking very good, and she was going to use this opportunity to kind of, you know, have her farewell to her friends. And one of her clients came to her, and she said, I have the worst stomachache, Diana. What is going on? Please help me. And she did a reading on her, and she saw that there was – bacteria that was causing her these stomach issues and instead of just seeing it at that moment she did a healing on her and she saw it going and at that moment the woman felt instantly better and this like was huge for her so this got her thinking you know it's not that different the bacteria and my leg um, so the next day she witnessed a healing on herself and instantly like her whole body in a sense was like almost remade like the even the the ear holes for her earrings closed up and her leg completely healed she'd had surgery so like one was shorter than the other it went back to the same length and she didn't have pain she was on crutches she couldn't walk and the pain was gone and she kept thinking well is it going to come back is this real and it never came back and so then she started, I have to heal people. I have to share this. And she started working with more and more clients. And then people wanted to learn, like, well, what are you doing? Teach us. So she had to figure out a way to, to show people a roadmap because she was getting booked a year in advance. And she's like, I don't want someone with, with cancer waiting a year to get a healing session with me. So this is what's so beautiful about the technique is it's teachable. 
it's a step-by-step -step guide and system that allows you to access the theta state, but also allows you to not just do healings, but work on your lifestyle. Where in your life are you having, having blocks? Because she realized that it's all interconnected. She would do a healing on someone and, and she would hear, but it's genetic or they don't believe they're worthy of being healed. And so she's had to start realizing that you have to heal the mindset as well to open you up to the healing, to accept it. And then now people are using it for their relationships and they're using it for where they're stuck in business and they're using it for, of course, their health to become Weight better. loss. Huh? Weight loss. Weight loss. So it's all about opening up that mindset because it, we know that it's our internal wiring that allows us to commit to, for example, new habits. Because if we're afraid of achieving those goals, if we start to get results, we stop. So then we look to actually working through those belief systems in order to commit, in order to achieve, in order to stay consistent and persistence, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's indeed. really began. She's really a, an amazing teacher and very blessed because she's she's shown us how we can all do it. It's extremely empowering. You can do this work. Yeah, and I highly recommend the courses that I've taken at Theta Healing Center. I mean, to even even if you're not going to be a practitioner of it, just for the personal development and understanding, because I feel like once you know why things work it makes it so much more impactful as well so we're going to give some of that information to down below on if you want to learn more if you want to take a course if you want some um personal sessions we're going to put some info down here in the chat box and yeah i also invite everyone um that we have an a an evening and we're going to give free access to patricia's group here um, it's called How to Become a Powerful Co-Creator. We have one tonight and one on the 27th. Um, so I highly recommend if you can make that, I would love for you to join. Um, mm -hmm. And you can also just comment below, say Theta please, and we can follow up with some information. We can private message you. Um, I think Patricia has some more info, but we would love for you to, to come and experience it. And I, I'm sure Patricia and I will be doing more work together. And yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to put that stuff down. I'll put it when we're done. We'll put more info so that people can reach you directly in the chat box below as well. Absolutely. So you want to take us through a meditation? Yeah. Excellent. I would love to. I would love to. So with all meditation, we want to start, of course, with becoming centered, closing our eyes, and just starting with the breath. So the breath brings us to our body, brings us to our sensation. And through our sensation, we're also opening up all of our psychic centers so that we're really becoming in tune with our intuition. So start by just keep filling your lungs and releasing. Imagine that you bring your consciousness to your feet and then you bring your consciousness down into the earth beneath you. And just take a couple breaths feeling connected to the earth beneath you. As you breathe in, imagine that Mother Earth expands with you and as you breathe out, that it contracts with you. Take one here. And as you breathe in with the next breath, imagine that you gather some of this earth energy. Imagine it to be a color, something that feels soothing, that relaxes you. Imagine it to be maybe a purple color. And imagine it comes up and it starts to swirl around your toes, the arches of your feet, your ankles. And as this energy starts to come up your body, every cell that it touches relaxes. Comes up your shins, your knees, all the way up your thighs, into your hips, 
relaxing your belly. Even your organs feel relaxed. All the way up into your chest, feel your heart open. Feel your back muscles relax. See this energy coming up your fingertips, relaxing your shoulders and your neck. All the way up to the crown of your head. And as you see this energy coming up to the crown of your head, imagine that it starts to build and form a beautiful ball of light above your space and that you are inside this ball of light. You can see through out into the room around you. When you look down, you see your body below. And this ball of light starts to drift up above your space, past the room, out into the atmosphere. You start to see beneath you the city or the town, wherever you are in the world, get smaller and smaller. You start to go up and up and up. And now you see the world beneath you getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And you turn your gaze out and up into the universe. And as you do, you start to go faster past the solar system, past the planets, up and up and up, past the galaxy, up and up and up. And you start to go faster and faster up through many galaxies, and many stars, and beautiful gases of color, out and up and up and up. As you continue to go up, you start to enter into new energies, new planes. They feel like layers of lights almost like passing through different layers of fog. Some are darker, some are brighter, but you keep going through them up and up and up. You come through a white light, see yourself going through this energy and into a golden hue. And here, this is the plane of the masters. So you may see faces here, you may see wings, you may hear singing or beautiful architecture. And you feel that this golden light is ushering you up further. So you know you're not supposed to stop here. You keep going up. You feel safe and surrounded by serenity. But it pushes you up and up and up. And as you continue to go up, you start to go through a new energy, almost like passing through liquid or water. It's a little heavier, a little denser. But you keep this mantra in your mind of up, up, up. And you continue to go farther and farther up through this energy, past colors and orbs of light and geometric shapes. And up above you, you see this pink energy of light, the soft energy. And you go through that energy and it acts almost like a doorway. Because as you go through it, it opens up into a new energy. And this energy is that of all that is. It is sparkling and it tingles over every cell in your body. It's pearlescent light. And you feel yourself continuing to expand into this energy. First, you feel it just from the crown of your head, but you see it as your body goes deeper and deeper into this energy, sparkling all the way to the tips of your toes. See yourself going deeper and deeper, truly connecting with this energy, this state of consciousness. And I want you to just say in your mind, I'm not separate, I'm one with all that is. I am not separate, I'm one with all that is. I am a part of the creator of all that is. Just feel yourself lifting more and more into this energy, 
Take a couple breaths. Allow yourself to be nurtured, to be and feel loved and supported by this energy as it swirls through every cell of your body. When you're ready, and you feel complete, and you feel connected and centered, open your eyes. Yay. So good. So good. Good. Do you do this daily? Uh, I do. I actually recently, you know, it's part of my work. So I, I, I'm very lucky, so I'm forced to be in my practice. Um, but I went on vacation recently and uh, before that to Iceland, and I needed to be in my practice. Yeah. So I was kind of following along what you've been helping people with is by creating a daily practice in the morning, connecting, visualizing your day, manifesting your day so that you can manifest your week and your month and your year. And it makes the biggest difference. It the makes biggest the biggest difference. And even just after doing it, really the way that you see the world is totally different. The way you just interact, whether it's not even about just achieving a goal, but it's just like how you deal with life, less reactive, more responsive, more, it's kind of easier to be kind, I find, after yeah. this. But, I mean, you're, you're ex using your intuition, so you're expanded, you're using your intuition, you can work on yourself, so sometimes I'll ask, you know, this is what I'm wanting to create, is anything blocking me today? What do I need to work on? So I start to work on my beliefs. I manifest. Manifesting is part of, you know, having intention, that you're actually being intentional with your life, you know, that every day is a day to make the difference. Every day is your day to follow up on your goals and your dreams and take action. Um, you're calling in support and help, whether that's spiritual help or physical help. You know, I've manifested amazing things for our business. I'm like, I need help with my business. Help me. And, you know, I've manifested free business consulting. I've manifested great office manager that, like, is business savvy. I've manifested uh, business coaching where I'm paying little, you know. Um, I... You know, what I believe is that we all have a divine purpose and you will be provided for. So it's also asking to be in alignment with that purpose. Um, it happened It happened with my apartment. It happened with our center. I didn't know how it was going to come to be. I didn't know how the money was going to come and it always comes. Um, so that's really the practice is like being in alignment with that higher purpose, clearing your beliefs so that you can do it in in a way that is out of joy and love as opposed to struggle and hardship. Mm -hmm. um, so it's powerful. It's powerful. It's really powerful. Really powerful. So before we wrap it up, if anybody has any questions, please post. Anybody want have any questions you want to ask right before we wrap it up? Smith. You see Smith Banfield. <laughs> There's right I'll just share. I, mean, I don't. I, you'll have to tell me if you see questions. You'll let me know. I. I. I this is so know. phenomenal. Vanessa says. Smith says, "Do it." My life has completely transformed. Taylor mm -hmm. says, "Theta, please. Theta, please." So you're. I will um, add. You know, there's so many experiences I've had with students and with clients that, you know, have changed things from manifesting relationships um, to completely changing their work life. Um, so I, I, I would love to talk with people if they, they have more questions and hopefully they'll come, come and experience it for themselves. Yeah, definitely. So put Theta, please, in your chat box if you really want to get connected personally with Sarah and see how you can move forward. 
um, with sessions, with courses, whatever she has to offer. And she'll reach out to you through Messenger, Facebook Messenger, and you guys can connect that way. There's also a link underneath the post that I put yesterday. It says Theta Healing New York City. So you can the link is there directly to her center. And we're going to put some more information in the chat box. And Theta Healing is a part of the Daily Dose. It's a part of... Sati 365 and the key is to really just get into something that you haven't been doing yet that can really help you do things differently because if you want different results you've got to do things differently so uh anything else you want to say to wrap it up to finalize our conversation I'm, here i'm so happy to be here with you I'm so happy to be here with you, Patricia, and I just want to thank you so much for having me on, and I'm excited. I'm, I, I hope you guys are doing 360, and I'm just excited to see um, what next we can do. So, um, Yes, and we'll be you. doing more together soon, for sure. Yes. All right. Awesome. Thank Bye, you so everyone. much. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Okay. So did you guys think that was amazing? Did you get some info? Yes, you've got to come to New York City for that. And she's amazing. All of the Theta Healing practitioners are amazing. Rachel, who's on here, I worked with her personally, which is really what resulted in a lot of my success with my chronic knee pain. She's amazing. And it's really worth having as part of your life. So if you want to go deeper, it is on 365. Uh, for sure on the first like six months you get the theta healing meditations along with many other things and it's part of the daily dose so if you haven't signed up for the daily dose yet make sure you do that as well it's listed here on this page and we're gonna have a lot more for you guys soon we'll be doing more webinars and more updates on how you can get more of this in your life very soon Jackie how are you I drank your soup yesterday the raw cucumber ridiculous amazing fantastic i was at an event last night and your soups were there we were with ali love and the love squad so so good to see you here today thank you for that and all your amazing work and thank you everybody for joining me on this live stream if it was helpful one way you can share this is to take the link from the page and share it on your page if you think people are be, would be interested in hearing more about Theta Healing or Sati 365, um, share the link. I'd appreciate it. It'd be fantastic. And that's it for now. That's a wrap, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great day.